I'm going to turn the lights off. Do they always turn the lights off? I don't know. It's not like I don't know. It's that dark. I don't remember. It's an stars. intimate interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, now that you're here. No, no, no. Coach, how would you assess how Justin Martin played on Saturday? I thought Justin is making really good progress. He made some plays, uh, showed up on the, the one jet sweep one time, you know, and really was aggressive. And um, it's getting better. He's getting better. You said a couple weeks ago he was a spot player. Is it? Obviously, he played a lot on, on Saturday. Does that change his role? Do you expect him to start? Yeah, him well, now he, yeah, now he's in a you know com very competitive situation with Emmanuel, um, working to earn that starting position. I think he did uh, a, a lot of good things on Saturday. Uh, I've got a lot more confidence in him. Um, I know Coach Martinez has more confidence in him, and uh, you know he's in a competitive situation with Emmanuel. Could you move either one of those guys to nickel, or do you like them both at that outside corner? No, no, no. Yeah, they're outside. Outside guys. Did you need to see more confidence from him? Is that, I mean, are we waiting to give him a chance to give him the opportunity? Yeah, I just want to see, confidence? you know, I really want to see Justin get out there and execute. Um, he's been in some ball games, uh, but really that was the most significant playing time he's had, obviously, in a, in a big game for us. And, uh, you know, he did, he did a good job, a couple things here and there, but like always, they, you know, they got to learn from him. So I, I, was, I was pleased. John, you guys had a big game for you. Did you see him on the verge of doing that? Did he show signs in practice he was ready to break through? Corey, is, Corey always works hard. He never says anything. He just, just comes to work every day. Uh, not a real talkative guy. Uh, gets his work in on the field, and uh, you know that's really it. And I'm, I'm really happy for him because he's, he, you know, he does work hard daily. And uh, he's had some injuries in the past, and he's had some surgeries and things. And uh, so it hasn't been an easy road for him, but uh, for him to play well against, uh, you know, Alabama and, and uh, you know, Cam Robinson, um, you know, it was really, really great to see. You feel like he can carry that to the second half of the season? I hope so. You know, that's the goal. I mean, um, we don't want him to get worse, that's for sure. John, just a, you had one sack, one tackle for loss against Georgia. Two weeks later, five sacks, ten tackles for loss. Well, did you guys change a lot of things? Or did you do things differently to – to generate more pressure, especially with your front forwards? No, um, no, I just think uh, it was a product of the offensive system that we we're facing. You know, George is a little bit more conservative. Um, and uh, I just I just think um, it was a byproduct of that, really, not, not anything that we stressed or did. Um, I thought the guys played well in the Georgia game, too. And, uh, you know, it's just, um, just one of those things. Burnett now has a second in back-to-back -back games. What's, what have you seen from him lately? I, I'm sorry, who? Burnett now, I guess, a second back-to-back yeah. back game. Well, Derek, you know, had sat out most of the last week. I don't know if you guys were aware of that. You know, he's had some injuries and some things that just been nagging him. And uh, so he didn't practice much. And then, uh, you know, we were able to get him to the game. And, and thankfully, he played and, and you know, did some, did some good things. Not only the sack, but some good things in the run game as well, where he really he really helped us. Coach Young said that uh, Evan was going to get worked into safety a little bit more moving forward. What has he done to, to earn those extra reps? Uh, Evan's just done a great job all year long. He's become more comfortable. He's really vocal back there. The thing about Evan, he's really he's really smart, picks up things well. And, um, you know, we got to try and get his speed on the field. And I think at times, um, excuse me, that that shows uh, at, at the safety position. Um, so an opportunity. Uh, this week to try and get him more reps. You get that what sticks out about tools on the film. Um, I, he's got great arm strength. He can make all the throws. Uh, he's athletic. He can get out of a jam. He can extend plays. Uh, they're not running him. They're not. They're they're not running him like they did last year uh, against us. There's not a lot of design quarterback runs, but certainly he's athletic enough to get out of a jam. You know, in a in a passing situation. Um, this really good overall quarterback really got uh, a lot of talent. Do you think their overall offense is pretty explosive? Yes, I do. I think they really upgraded the, the receivers on the outside. Uh, Boom Williams is a great back. He got great quickness. Fouled, you know, backed up by JoJo, and uh, you know, with tolls at the at the controls, I really think they have a formula and a, and a recipe for you know being very explosive. And that's what I see in games. I see. Uh, you know, maybe one or two yard gain, and then all of a sudden 29. Then, uh, you know, one or two, and then 34. And uh, it's both run and pass. And we've got to be on our toes each and every single play because they have some weapons that can um, do some damage to you if you're not on point. 
Coach, you talked a lot last year about having to play guys, a lot of guys, a lot of reps. Did you expect to have bigger rotations this year? And what's kind of the balance? Yeah, they all got hurt. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> certainly uh, we had expectations and plans, Dustin, for, you know, those guys to really grow and, and get good quality work and, and play a lot of guys. And it just just doesn't work out sometimes like that. And unfortunately for us this year, we were kind of dealt a, a bad hand with the injuries and things. But, um, you know, we got to keep moving forward. We got to keep doing what we're doing. How hard is it to strike a balance? I mean, you do got guys, you have bodies, but it's not necessarily top Yeah, there's guys. a drop off. I mean, there's a dramatic drop off from your first team guy to your second team guy. That's college football. I mean, if you go from a guy who is a starter who's in his fourth or maybe fifth year mm. that's been playing a lot for you to a guy who maybe a, a redshirt freshman or a sophomore, there's just there's just a dramatic drop off. There's a dramatic drop off in experience. There's you know, the, the, all the things that go into playing that position, you know, um, it's just the way it is. How do you strike a balance as a coach and say, yeah, okay, I, I, these guys still have to meet this standard regardless of, you know, how much it would help me to have another ball. Yeah, it's, you're use. talking about trust. You know, mm -hmm. how much do you trust to, to put a guy in a game that he's going to be where he's supposed to be? Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to give up big plays. You don't want to, um, make mistakes to where now you're self-inflicting, uh, the wounds on yourself. So that's, you know, that's a fine line. Um, you know, we get, we, we talk about it all the time. Hey, what, what can this guy handle? Uh, you know, I want to, I want to know, um, you know, his, the player's comfort level with the things that we're doing and all that. But, um, yeah, trust is huge, you know, to get on the field. Are there any guys at any positions that we haven't seen a lot of yet that you can see working their way into the rotation that you're, that are starting to figure it out? Um, you know, Evan was one of those guys, I think. Mm. Um, you know, Micah Abernathy is getting better every day. He got a bunch of reps today. He could, He's a guy that you could see out there, certainly. Um, other than that, you know, Cortez McDowell at linebacker is doing good. Kenny and um, Austin, Austin Smith, you know, mm. trying to find a way to get him on the field. He's, he's a tremendous talent. So uh, those are the guys that come to mind right now, you know, when you ask me that. How are you? How Last question. Jalen playing for obviously he's being productive, but what is his value to your defense? Jalen, uh, yeah. Maven? Yeah. Oh gosh, um, a lot. You know he makes plays. He's very cerebral. He's able to give us things that uh, the offense is doing that we can't see. You know from the sideline. Uh, sometimes they miss him in the box. You know it's so congested in that uh, on the line of scrimmage there. But he's able to come. Hey, the tackle did this. The guard did this. They folded this guy around. Um, it really uh, adds a lot to, you know, the uh, convenience of making adjustments for us as coaches. Thanks, coach. Thanks,